to another video. Today I'm very excited to be making my last official video of 2019 and also my last video of the decade which is kind of mind-blowing and making me feel pretty old. So basically for this video I'm going to do what I do every year and I'm just going to share some of my highlights of 2019 and talk about some of the things that I learned. My views on 2019 have actually changed a lot especially within the last month. A month ago if you asked me to summarize 2019 I would probably say that it was a struggle that I learned a lot from, but now I can actually say that that struggle was completely worth it and that I actually did accomplish some of the things that I wanted to accomplish. If you've watched some of my other videos from this year, I think you probably I already know that the main thing that happened this year was that I got involved in my community. I got involved for negative reasons. I got involved trying to prevent bus routes from getting cut and I was able to prevent some of them from getting cut. I don't like that I got involved to stop bad things from happening, but I told 2018 me that I would be spending most of my weeknights going to boring meetings with a bunch of boomers and that I'd actually enjoy going to those meetings. I probably wouldn't have believed myself. A lot of young activists think that it's really cool to strike and protest. Sometimes you have to go to meetings where decisions are made and you actually have to talk to people that have power and influence. And also getting retired people on your side is one of the best things that you can do because they actually have the time and the energy to help you. So some of you probably know I started getting really involved with the Cambrian Community Council and District 9 Leadership Group and some other neighborhood associations in my area and I actually became the youngest member of the Cambrian Community Council on August 5th of this year. It was really awesome. Since then I've worked really hard to make sure that young people are represented and I also got another youngish person named Nick on the council as well. That's definitely one of my highlights of this year. It was just really cool to come in to kind of an older established organization and bring some young energy in. Another really awesome thing that happened through my trans advocacy and my involvement with the Cambrian Community Council is that I got a fellowship Dave Cortez for State Senate, someone that I've really admired in politics for a very long time. The fact that he actually wanted me to work for his campaign was really amazing. It meant so much to me. It's just been really cool to work on his campaign. And I've also just met so many cool people through the campaign. I've just met so many good people in general this year, especially through the campaign and the Cambrian Community Council. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably know who Cole is. He's the chair of the Cambrian Community Council. He's like 70 something years old. Pretty much everyone thinks that I'm his grandchild and he's kind of been like my fake grandpa this year. He's just been so supportive and amazing and help and he's also been a really great role model like, I want to be like him when I grow up and I want to help other young people in the way that he's helped me I think it's really important to have a strong sense of community and that's not something that I've had previously in my life but you know I really gained it this year and that's really special and important in terms of my proudest accomplishments of 2019 I'm gonna try to do these in order so hopefully I won't mess them up my first one is that I helped save overnight service on route 22 and service to Almaden Valley second is that I became the youngest member of San Jose high-speed rail working group which is really cool because I've been a high-speed rail supporter since I was in elementary school and now I'm actually on the working group which is amazing. The third thing is something that I don't think I've ever talked about in a video because I'm not really the type of person who likes to brag about these things but back in June I got a commendation from the San Jose City Council. If you want to read it you can pause the video here. It was for transit advocacy and it was signed by the mayor and the city council. The council member that represents my area decided to give this to me which was probably one of the biggest honors of my entire life. I never did any of the stuff that I did to get something like this. I just did it because I wanted to and the fact that I was recognized for it was really cool. Fourth thing is something that I mentioned earlier in this video, but that's that I became the youngest member of the Cambrian Community Council. And I get to represent people in my community and just be a voice for people that don't necessarily have the time to make their own voices heard. And the fifth and final thing is that I helped get two referrals for next month's VTA Board of Directors meeting. The first one was from Supervisor Cortez to have VTA declare a climate emergency as an action item. And the second was from Supervisor Chavez to have the VTA Board explore options for Measure B reallocation to improve bus service by shifting funds from highway capital to transit operations. The climate emergency kind of came out of nowhere, but the Measure B reallocation is something that I've been pushing for with a bunch of other people since March. It was a really long and exhausting battle to even get to this point. And through that whole process and through all that advocacy, we're also able to prevent the TDA lien for BART and preserve over a hundred million dollars in federal funding for operations every single year until the BART measure expires in about 20 years. So that whole thing is something that I'm really, really proud of. Obviously, I don't know if we're going to get it, but just the fact that we came this far in a completely grassroots way is something that doesn't really happen around here all that much. And it's something that I'm really going to be proud of no matter what happens. Obviously, I didn't do any of these things on my own. I had a lot of help from other members of the community. And especially with the VTA stuff, the press was really involved and really helped spread the word a lot about it. So I'm really thankful for that. I want to give a major shout out to San Jose Spotlight for all of their coverage 
of transit issues this year. It really helped to elevate our voices and to make people more aware of these things. I'm just really thankful in general for everyone that has supported me throughout this year and that taught me how to get things done and how to make my voice heard and how to actually have an impact. And I'm just so thankful for everyone that just helped me in any way this year. This was really the first year where I had a community of civically engaged people and it just really made a huge difference. I know that I don't look any older than I did last year, but I feel like I've grown up a lot and learned a lot in the past 12 months. So I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say in this video. I'm so thankful for this year. Despite all the struggles that happened this year, I learned a lot. And I'm thankful for all the lessons that I learned from the bad things that happened. I think you always have a choice. You can be negative about bad things that happen or you can take those things and learn from them. That's what I've always tried to do and that's something that I want to carry into 2020. I'm really excited about 2020. A lot of big things are happening. I'm going to talk more about my goals in a future video, but I'm just really excited and I'm feeling really hopeful. And I'm just really thankful for all of you for joining me on this journey through 2019. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your 2019. Let me know what some of your highlights are from 2019 down in the comments below. And I will see all of you in 2020 with a new video. Goodbye.